The Freedom Class is one of two classes of the Littoral Combat Ship Program, built for the United States Navy. The Freedom Class was proposed by a consortium formed by Lockheed Martin as prime contractor and by Fink and Jerry through the subsidiary Marinette Marine as a contender for a fleet of small, multi-purpose warships to operate in the littoral zone. Two ships were approved, to compete with the Independence Class design offered by General Dynamics and Oshtal for a construction contract of up to 55 vessels. Planning for a class of small, multi-purpose warships to operate in the littoral zone began in the early 2000s. The construction contract was awarded to Lockheed Martin's LCS team consisting of Lockheed Martin, Gibbs, and Cox, Marinette Marine and Bollinger shipyards in May 2004 for two vessels. These would then be compared to two ships built by Orstel USA to determine which design would be taken up by the Navy for a production run of up to 55 ships. On 15 April 2003, the Lockheed Martin LCS team unveiled their Seablade concept based on the hull form of the motor yacht Destriero. The keel of the lead ship Freedom was laid down in June 2005, by Marinette Marine in Marinette, Wisconsin. She was christened in September 2006, delivered to the Navy in September 2008, and commissioned that November. During INS of trials, 2,600 discrepancies were discovered, including 21 considered high priority. Not all of these were rectified before the ship entered service, as moving the ship away from Milwaukee before the winter freeze was considered a higher priority. Cost overruns during Freedom's construction combined with projected future overruns led the government to issue a stop work in January 2007 and ultimately led to the cancellation of construction of LCS-3, the second Lockheed Martin ship, on 13 April 2007. This ship was later reordered. The ship is a semi-planing steel monohull with an aluminium superstructure. It is 377 feet in length, displaces 3,500 metric tons, and can achieve 47 knots. The design incorporates a large reconfigurable sea frame to allow rapidly interchangeable mission modules, a flight deck with integrated helicopter launch, recovery and handling system and the capability to launch and recover boats from both the stern and side. The flight deck is one and a half times larger than that of a standard surface ship, and uses a trigon traversing system to move helicopters in and out of the hangar. The ship has two ways to launch and recover various mission packages, a stern ramp and a starboard side door near the waterline. The mission module bay has a three-axis crane for positioning modules or cargo. The most serious problems with the Freedom class are with the electrical systems. The foredeck has a modular weapons zone which can be used for a 57mm gun turret or missile launcher. A rolling airframe missile launcher is mounted above the hangar for short-range defense against aircraft and cruise missiles, and .50 caliber gun mounts are provided topside. The fleet class unmanned surface vessel is designed for operations from Freedom variant ships. Four 750 kilowatt Fink and Jerry Zotta Fraschini diesel generators provide 3 megawatts of electrical power to power the ship systems. The core crew will be 40 sailors, usually joined by a mission package crew and an aviation detachment for a total crew of about 75. Automation allows a reduced crew, which greatly reduces operating costs, but workload can still be grueling. During testing of the class lead, Two ships' companies will rotate on four-month assignments.
for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and check back for our next video.